Well, in our uh, failed quest to find if Narciso Lopez was buried here, we're not too sure. The old cemetery he was uh, buried in no longer exists, and he was in a pauper's grave. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any information of that he was buried here, so we just were driving around looking at some of the graves, and uh, right after we uh, passed actually the graves to the uh, soldiers of the Cuban Revolution, uh, just over here, um, we were coming back this way, and I spotted the, the uh, eagle, um, the American eagle, and came up and discovered that um, the American Legion have have a plot here, which must have American veterans in it, both from from the Civil War and from the uh, Spanish-American War, um, because they have the symbol for the uh, GAR, the Grand Army of the Republic, which is a Union Veterans Organization, and of course, which excited me to no end, the United Confederate Veterans with the uh, Confederate battle flag on 1861 to 1865, uh, all buried in, in the same place. No names, so uh, we'd have to do more research to figure out who's in here, but it looks like Northerners and Southerners together who lived in Cuba. Uh, buried in, in the same grave. The other thing that's interesting, of course, is historians of the Lost Cause in the South uh, talk about how the Spanish-American War in particular brought Northerners and Southerners together. And here's a kind of a uh, tactile example of that. You have the symbol of the Confederates on one side, the Spanish-American War in the middle, and the Union Army veterans on the other from the Civil War, both kind of combined in unity to fight for the United States in the Spanish-American War. Great, great, great. Great symbol.